I'm Joey Carvelis, and this is Restaurant Secrets. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make an incredible pizza dough at home. This is made with instant yeast, so it's really quick. You can use it the same day. Today, we're gonna use that dough. We're gonna make pizzas, we're gonna make calzone, and we're gonna make zeppelis. The secret is don't waste your dough, because you're gonna have some left over. You don't wanna throw it away, it's like gold, man. We use a different yeast in the pizza shops, but this is the stuff you wanna use at home. So we're looking for a really nice New York style pizza. This is a good flour to start with, Red Label Caputo from Italy. This is more like an American style, New York style pizza. One bag, this is a one bag recipe, 1,000 grams. This is gonna be a little bit untraditional. This recipe is gonna be real simple. Everything goes in the pot and we go ahead and mix it up. So let's do that. We're gonna pop open this bag of instant yeast, a whole little packet's gonna go in there. I'm gonna fold this flour over on top of that yeast. I don't want the yeast and the salt and everything mixing up. So we got our oil and last but not least, our water. Okay, so a lot of very minimal ingredients. Lock it up and we're gonna, just gonna turn on low speed. If you turn on too high, you're gonna have an explosion. Flour's gonna be everywhere. This is gonna go for about, you know, five to seven minutes. Depends on how fast you, you run it. But once you get a nice, elastic, smooth texture on the dough, you're good to go. You know, old school dough making, or even at home when you make small batches, you can make it with your hands, knead it together. This is this thing right here does all that. It mixes it all together. Look, you can really nerd out on, on learning how to make dough. There's a lot of different techniques. I'm showing you how to make something really simple. Let's open it up. So we're gonna use a scale here. You don't have to. You can just take this and kind of quarter it up into four little balls, but we're gonna weigh it out. We're about 11 ounces. That's fine. You got a little bit left over. Don't get rid of that, keep it. All right, I'm gonna show you a little technique on how to roll this stuff up to get a really nice tight dough ball. Basically, you're gonna fold your, your fingers like this, hold the dough like this. Take this hand and push it, compress it. 90 degrees, fold, push, compress, twist. This is just, you're making a really tight dough ball. At the very end, take your hand like this, you're, you're squeezing it together. You're making a little head right here. And don't, hey, don't get mad at yourself because you ain't gonna learn how to do this the first time. It's all good, man. Just have a little fun. And now we're gonna wrap this up. We're gonna cover it up with plastic because you don't want any air getting on this. Air is gonna ruin this dough. Keep it covered. Keep all the air off of it. Plastic wrap, stick it in your refrigerator. It lasts for five, six days. The trick is if you really wanna get this stuff going now, you wanna use it quick, do not put it in the fridge. Just leave it on, cover it and leave it out. Within a couple of hours, you can use it, it'll be good. Now, I'm gonna show you guys how to make pizza, calzones, and zeppelis. Let's get going. Who don't love a pepperoni pizza? If you wanna get a little bowl of flour, just dip it in there, get it dry so it doesn't stick. You wanna work it. So how we wanna do is we wanna push this down. Don't touch your edges. See how I'm leaving this edge on the, on the outside? Kinda of push down right here, work your way around, flip it over, and then we're just gonna push it out. Both hands, I'm kinda of pulling apart the pizza. This 11 ounce dough ball, will stretch out to about a 12 inch pizza. So we're gonna pull it out a little bit more. This is the easiest technique in stretching dough. I'm gonna show you a little bit harder one. Put your fists in there and you pull out like this. And to guide it, you wanna use your thumbs. All right, that's really it. If you wanna get real wild with it, you can throw it in the air. That wasn't my best, but it's a small dough ball. Cut me some slack, man. We got an episode out that shows you how to make this pizza sauce. Go check it out. So four ounces of sauce. Twist this around, nice little circular. Leave you about a half inch to an inch of crust. And that's it. You don't want a ton of cheese. I mean, unless you just love cheese, you want a nice, perfect amount of all the ingredients because you want to taste your dough, you want to taste your cheese. Let's do some pepperoni. You could go wild with this as much as you want. All right, there we go. Y'all ready to bake it off? See what it looks like? Boom, baby, there we go. All right, cut them up. Oh, baby. I mean, I just gave y'all an incredible recipe. You could literally go open up your own pizza shop. Delicious. So I showed you how to make a real basic pizza. That's pretty simple. This is another straightforward recipe right here. This is a real deal pizza shop calzone recipe I'm about to share with you. It costs a lot of money to have this knowledge right here, and I'm giving it to you for free. We're gonna do this the same exact way we did our pizza, same exact way. You don't have to stretch this one out quite as big. So, uh, you know, nine inches, eight to nine inches, that's good. Real simple, right? If you wanted to do toppings, if you want to do like pepperoni or sausage or vegetables, you could do it at this point. We're just going to do cheese. We're going to fold it over to a half moon shape like this. All right. And then the secret was don't waste your dough. So right here, we're going to have some extra scrap dough. This is just going to form it, make it look real nice and uh, 
uniform, pop the top like that, in the oven we go. So it looks beautiful, don't it? All right, let's try this calzone out. So this is a marinara that we made in the other episode. Look at all that cheese. We're gonna put our marinara on there. It's hard to beat that. You're gonna have a dough ball or two left over after you make all those pizzas. What are you gonna do with it? We're gonna make some sweet treats with we'll some Zeppelis. Let's cut these up smaller so all these look perfect. So now, let's go get these cooking in the deep fryer. So now they're floating, they're looking good, they're golden brown all around. Let's go ahead and pull them while they're still while they're still oily. Throw them in your bowl. All righty. We got some confectioner sugar right here, just like some donuts. And he's gonna hit it again. We got some Nutella right here. Bam, man. Do I need to say anything? So today we learned how to make an incredible pizza dough made with an instant yeast. With that dough, we learned how to make pizza, calzone, and zeppelis. So I'll just let you in on another restaurant secret. But remember, don't be telling all my secrets to everybody.